August 23rd. God is love. 1 John 4 8. God in Christ is no longer a consuming fire, but a God of love, of peace, a reconciled God. God in Christ holds out his hand all the day long to poor sinners. He receives all, he welcomes all. He rejects, he refuses, he casts out none. It is his glory to pardon a sinner. It is the glory of his power. It is the glory of his love. It is the glory of his wisdom. It is the glory of his grace to take the prey from the mighty, to deliver the lawful captive, to pluck the brand from the burning, to lower the golden chain of his mercy to the greatest depth of human wretchedness and guilt, to lift the needy and place him among the princes. Behold Christ upon that cross, every pang that he endures, every stroke that he receives, every groan that he utters, every drop of blood that he sheds, proclaims that God is love, and that he stands pledged and is ready to pardon the vilest of the vile. Justice, sheathing its sword and retiring satisfied from the scene, leaves mercy gloriously triumphant, and God delights in mercy. Having at such an infinite cost opened a channel, even through the smitten heart of his beloved Son, through which his mercy may flow boundless and free. Venture near, nothing doubting. No feature of your case is discouraging or can possibly arrest the pardon. Your age, your protracted rebellion against God, your long life of indifference to the concerns of your soul, the turpitude and number of your sins, your lack of deep convictions or of stronger faith, nor worth or worthlessness to recommend you to his favor are no true impediments to your approach. No feature of your case is discouraging or can possibly arrest the pardon. Your age, your protracted rebellion against God, your long life of indifference to the concerns of your soul, the turpitude or number of your sins, your lack of deep convictions or of stronger faith, nor worth or worthiness to recommend you to his favor, are no true impediments to your approach, are no pleads why you should not draw near and touch the outstretched scepter, bathe in the open fountain, put on the spotless robe, welcome the gracious pardon, impress it with gratitude and transport to your adoring heart. In the light of this truth, cultivate loving and kindly views of God. Ever view Him, ever approach Him, and ever transact your soul's affairs with Him in and through Jesus. He is the one mediator between God and your soul. God your Father may now be leading you through deep and dark waters. His voice may sound roughly to you. His dim outline is, is perhaps all that you can see of him. His face seems veiled and averted. Yet deal with him now in Christ, and all your heart thoughts, trembling fears, and unbelieving doubts shall vanish. In Jesus, every perfection of God dissolves into grace and love. With your eye upon the cross and looking at God through that cross, all the dark letters of his providence will in a moment become radiant with light and glory. That God, who has so revealed himself in Jesus, must be love, all love, and nothing but love, even in the most dark, painful, and afflicting dealings with his beloved people.